in previous video we have seen that how we can install dspace on linux and we have successfully installed also now after creating the platform or after making the platform ready that is dspace now we have to think that how we are going to organize the content what are the contents we have to means keep in our dspace or institutional repository so in this video we are going to discuss in detail the architecture of your institutional repository and then we will see how we can organize the digital object in the institutional repository so let's see how we can do this in the previous video we have discussed that what should be the structure or framework or architecture of institutional repository and we have come to know some of the things that if we are using D space the structure should be like this first the top level will contain the community then collection and then item and in item is the combination of three things the first one is the bit stream plus metadata and plus license so I will come to this part later let us see the community collection and item so all these three community collection and items should come in a row then only it will get added into your repository now let me start with the community remember the community may have further sub community and sub community also again can have another sub community the purpose of creating sub community inside community or sub community inside sub community is that when you have a large structure and you are not able to accommodate your item in one community in that case or in one collection in that case you can expand your community in sub community or again sub community inside the sub community so the benefit will be that you can expand your total documents or the scholarly output using this community and sub community just like a tree and branch it works like a tree and branch where tree is a community branches are the collection and fruits are their item so let me explain here suppose I am going to have one institutional repository of a very big university where more than 10 departments are functional and I have been instructed to maintain the community with the name of the university so let me show here for, for example I give the name central university this will be my top community this is community and further I am going to have the sub community department 1 for example any department you can take then department 2 likewise department 3 so all these three are sub community please do not misunderstand the concept of sub community and community both are same only the difference is that this community is inside coming under this comes community so it is called sub community but in all cases the sub community is not required we can directly have the collection inside the community but in such cases where you are not able to avoid or not able to adjust your documents in the one community and you want to expand your collection in that case you can define the department name and each, each, each department suppose you have the different different documents for example I take document 1 this is my this is my first sub community so inside that I have collection 1 uh, for example I take thesis then projects 
then articles for example this particular department has or this sub community has these three collection these are collection okay so this is also collection this is also collection the same way for example in department 2 there is no thesis so here mtech dissertation or only dissertation and then this is project also is not available in this sub community or this department so for example here newspaper clippings and here for example you are having only two collection in this department and the last one is the department which has large number of video collection and department wants to organize so you are going to have the collection name video collection and here you can give audio collection so now you can observe that this is my top level community and this is my these are my sub communities and each sub community these are my collection so department one has thesis projects article 3 collection department 2 has two collections dissertation newspaper clippings and department 3 has two collection video collection and audio collection and now in each collection when you finished the creating the collection each collection will have items let me write here items this department collection will also have items and this department collections will also have items so in each collection you have to add the items separately and these items are nothing but these are your file digital object which we know as digital file the items are your digital files which you add to your collection so when we add the digital items or digital files to the collection it is the combination of three things first one is the bit stream that is the file and format plus metadata because when we add the item to collection we have to fill up one form which contains the metadata as per Dublin core metadata initiative and the last one is the license this is very very important the last one because I will give you one example suppose you are adding any article or thesis or any journal articles or any conference proceeding articles so this is the intellectual output and whenever any author writes any article the copyright lies with the author owner of the article so in that case the author has to submit the confirmation that okay you can add to your digital repository or institutional repository and make it public if the author does not agree that no my document should be added to the repository but it should not be made uh, publicly accessible in that case you have to look into this and only you have to show the metadata of the document not the full document we'll come to that part later and uh, in detail so this is one example I have given where we can have the top level community, we can have the sub community, we can have the different collection inside the sub community and again we can have the items inside the collection. Now let me show you the another example, very simple example I am just going to show you. The, uh, my institute is not very large or my institute or your institute is not very big or does not have a large number of documents only the institute wants to archive the for example thesis articles and uh, conference papers three items so in that case what you can do the top level community can be your institute name or library name or any name which you have decided to have the uh, name as community okay and my so I'm not going to create the sub community now I'll directly create the collection 
the first collection will be my journal articles this is my collection and second collection will be conference paper and third one will be thesis so these three are my collection these three are my collections and inside each collection I am supposed to add the items so this is very simple structure of one repository so in that case you can see here I have created only the community and then journal articles conference paper thesis the collection and inside that the items let me show you one another example the same thing can also be framed in such a way that instead of having the institute name directly the name of collection can be your community for example journal articles then the conference papers and then thesis so these are my community and again when you create the collection you can have the for example you have two kind of journal articles national and international here conference papers national and international so and thesis for example mtech uh, mtech uh, research thesis and here phd thesis so you can see that i have taken these as my so you can see here i have taken these three as my main community and inside these main communities i have created the collection national international in conference paper also national international thesis mtech research and phd thesis so the advantage will be in this case that sometimes we are supposed to produce the report or output that how many national or international journals have been received by library in journal articles or in conference paper or how many phd theses are there how many mtech research so it will help to generate the report and also now after collection we are supposed to add the item in each collection as per requirement or as per submission and when we are adding the item we have to look into the copyright issue in every item because when the item is submitted to the repository and if it is accessible means globally then you are supposed to look into this issue very strictly or you can say uh, uh, means first priority you have to give to copyright issue and then you have to make it global otherwise it will invite so many trouble may invite so many trouble so so this is the total information about creating the community and collection and adding the item to different collection one very important thing is that community and sub community can be many can be many but collection cannot have sub collection sub collection Re remember here community can have sub community and again sub community can have sub community but collection cannot have sub collections so you have to be very very 
confirmed in this regard while creating the architecture and when you finalize everything so you create the framework or structure in repository and after that start submission to the collection so i hope i have been able to make you understand the concept of structure in d space we will see practically how we can do this thanks for watching this video